I like mahogany. It looks nice. Plus, I like saying mahogany. Makes you feel like uh, you're from New England or something. Mahogany. <laughs> Hand planes are one of those tools that I really enjoy using, but I also struggle using them because I tend to screw things up with them. But over time, my collection has grown and I am forcing myself to learn to use them properly. With my collection getting bigger, I decided to build a plane till. Now, my planes have a safe place to sit, they look cool, and the plane till itself was pretty easy to make. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the like button if you like the video and leave a comment. I love comments. Stay tuned so you can see how I made the plane till. For my overall design, I had seen some pictures before of plane tills, so I knew basically I wanted to have the planes laying on a, on a slant like this and then below it have areas for black planes and shoulder planes and, and other things like that. What I did not know was the appropriate angle to use to lay my bench planes at. I did a little research and found out 15 degrees is the one. For wood selection, that was super easy. I just used some scrap pieces of uh, Baltic birch plywood that I had laying around from other projects, and I also happened to have a nice piece of mahogany or trim. I needed to be able to access the nailer that was on the back of my plane till. So I came up with an idea. If I hinged the bed of the plane till, I can access my nailer and I have a little storage space to hide things. Things I don't want Buddy to find. See? I wanted a little bit of extra security to keep my planes in position on the bed, so I decided to use some super crazy strong magnets that I found at the big box store. To install the magnets, I took the bed, drilled a 18 millimeter hole part of the way through, put the magnet in, then took a, a dowel and put that in there to hold the magnet in place, cut the dowel off flush, and voila, when you set the plane on the bed, it definitely has a little bit of an attraction, a little clip, which is sort of neat. Like there's a magnet there or something. For a finish, I chose shellac. I really like how it looks. I've used it on a lot of my pieces in the wood shop here, and it's super easy. It dries fast, and if it gets messed up, I just sand a little bit and put some more on.
Mahogany. 